walls and we use this area mostly for our private and public events it's overflow on the weekends when we're, we're busier but we do a lot of like in this case here but what we mean by private and public events is we do corporate events um birthday parties but mostly uh we can range from anywhere from 25 people up to we've had a 500 person corporate events here uh and we, the upstairs is usually kind of, a, we seat around about 150 uh, for corporate events. Uh, we've done close to 220 in 2024 alone, uh, different events up here from a private perspective. When the space is not rented out for private areas, we use it for public events, which allows us to do like bingos and trivias and pumpkin carvings and uh, different other events that can bring the public in and to utilize um, unique space upstairs. And as I said, you, you know, you can be upstairs doing bingo and you can be downstairs and you won't even hear the bingo going and then you're out in pickleball and you have no idea that's happening. So we can really just subdivide our entertainment into these different zones and areas and they do not collide with each other. Uh, and people can enjoy all three or one. And as we'll get into a little bit of technology, uh, the pour my beer and the use of the uh, GoTab, the QR codes, the ordering system allows us to have their consumers jump between these different zones of entertainment and just keep everything flowing nicely.